Since I was a little girl, I've had a wonderful gift, being able to communicate with the spirits who are no longer with us. My live shows are what I truly love doing the most. The energy from the audience is incredible. I'm always amazed by how much pain and suffering can be healed through messages I pass on. The spirits have plenty to say. I never know what's coming next. And that's why I always ask, do you want to know everything? But I'm Lisa Williams and I have this extraordinary ability of communicating with those who are no longer with us. And some would call me a medium. Some would call me a clairvoyant to me. I'm just me, I'm Lisa Williams. So I'm heading to Charlottesville in Virginia and um, I've not been there before, so I'm quite excited. I've got someone in a scooter that's scootering up and down this stage with a cat in the basket. <laughs> Some of the things you have to laugh at. And she's got one, she's got like a sock rolled up and one rolled down and she's quite a character actually. But she's wheeling and she's waving at you as, as she goes by. And it's like, there you go, have a wave back, she'll be happy about that. But it's like, she's showing me that she was either your mother or your grandmother, or, but it's like a red scooter. And I want to say there's a connection to the name Mary. And her feet blew up. Come on, help me out here, because she's, she's not going anywhere. Okay. Was this grandma? Yeah. Quite crazy woman. Like, do. I mean, lovely woman, but real crazy and do wacky things. And did she have a cat? She, she had cats. She, um, when, they, when they were born, she... Okay. Um, when they were born, she had many cats and she fed them milk. <laughs> right. And what's this about the socks? Her feet she, always got cold. She was always cold, and she wore so many rags and clothes on her, layers and layers of clothes. And she always looked different. She, she didn't was... always have everything matching. No, it was never. all odd. Yeah. I'm with you, my love. I'm yeah. sorry. That moment when I realized it was my grandmother, I think it was when she described the clothes my grandmother was wearing and the fact that my grandmother was, um, had swollen feet and that my grandmother was riding a scooter with a basket with a cat on it, which I ride too, so. <laughs> she had funny teeth as well, because she's just gone. Yeah. And they weren't <laughs> clean. I just feel that they didn't look clean. She was a farmer. <laughs> Sorry to all those farmers out there. <laughs> but no, but she was a farmer in, in Europe. Oh, uh, says it all. Us Europeans, you know. And her feet are swollen up and she's made me take my shoes off, but I don't feel her feet were the nicest things. Yeah, her feet blew up by the oh, time she passed. Oh, they're disgusting. Yeah. But, but she, bless her, she's like showing... Um, oh, God. You, she didn't care, did she? No, she didn't. Oh, she now wants me to jump her. on there and go for a ride with her. <laughs> yeah. But you're crazy too. Yeah. <laughs> to me, she said, I don't know what you're talking about, you're just the same. They say we're a lot alike. You are a lot alike. Is it's this your mum? Is this your mum's side? My mum's name is Mary. Right, okay. And this is your mum's mum? My mum's mum. She just passed. She, right. Apparently your mum, your mum's still with us though, isn't she? She is. Your mum can have all her clothes. She, she, she doesn't know what to do with them. Well, your mum can have them all. <laughs> She's, she, a, yeah. she's just said, well, I don't need them, do I? And she's just stood there like this. And she, she's run into people on her scooter. Would she aim at them? She, you know what, um, it must, she, when she passed, she was 95, but I know for a fact that when she drove her cabbage, I mean her carriage, <laughs> with a uh, horse and carriage, she would, she would not care if somebody was in the road. Oh, no, she wouldn't, no. she'd go. Yeah. She's off. My name is Paulina and I'm from New York and I just moved to Charlottesville. Um, my grandparents speak Polish, that's for, to, to my knowledge. I don't think they speak any other languages but, but Polish. 
Yes, this is the first live taping that I've ever been to of Lisa's. My expectations of walking through the door, I would never think my grandmother would come through because first of all, she doesn't speak English. So what are the chances of a dead person that doesn't speak English coming through? Um, but then as people started getting readings, I told her that you better come through. I want you here. And she came through. You know, I don't, uh, there is no language barrier with what I do. And I know I spoke to a lady who was Polish and her grandmother was Polish and she only spoke Polish. And sometimes there's no language barrier. They will get their message through however. It's like we've got a universal language. We can all communicate. I don't think your mum and her got on, did they? My mum, she tried. She tried hard. She said it was all your mum's fault. <laughs> but I have to say, I think she's meaning that in a very joking fashion. Yeah. But she, it would be something you would expect her to say. Yeah. You got a boyfriend? Oh, I knew she would say that. Yeah. <laughs> he's not here, is he? No, he's not. She's not quite liking him. She never did. She never likes your boyfriend. That's the only thing she ever talked about. Don't like him. Get rid of him. Okay, Grandma. Right, all I'm going to say, right, and I used to do this with my private reading back in England, I used to say, if your father gives you advice, it's your father's advice. If he gives you the lottery numbers and he never won anything in his life, do you want to trust them? So it's your grandmother's advice, okay? She says, well, you can do better. Now, she started talking different language. She's Polish. Oh, God, I thought it was Russian, but she started yabbering on in a different language now. And she would go, wouldn't she? Yeah. And she'd make you eat her food. Yes. Which was disgusting. Yes. She knew it was disgusting. She fed half of it to the pigs. And she made you eat it, you poor woman. <laughs> now, vinegar. You know what vinegar tastes like? Yes. Why is she giving me the taste of vinegar? She was a healer. Okay. Cause she, did she pour it on everything? Because <sighs> I'm tasting it now. Oh, now she wants me to get... You haven't got a tattoo, have you? I do. Yeah, she wants to rub it off you. It's, yeah, it's too late. <laughs> yeah, tough. She thinks vinegar might get rid of it. <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> yeah. She's like rubbing it away. What's this about goats? Did she have goats? No, I actually, I finished, I finished an apprenticeship with a healer, with a woman that I was herding goats and I was telling her about it before she passed. Right, okay, because she's obviously, she was obviously with you at that point then. You've got the wrong size shoe on. No. <laughs> she's telling me you shouldn't wear the shoes that you wear. My mother would say something like that all the time and they would say the same thing, that my shoes are too small, but they uh. never are. <laughs> I think she's only used to wearing boots anyway. Yes, boots, heavy boots. Sturdy boots. Yeah. <laughs> she's built like... Yes, massive. <sighs> oh my God. <laughs> some ones I like and then some that scare me. <laughs> but she's got, she's got a lovely face. Yeah. And she's, she's pinching her cheeks here. So. Rosy cheeks. Rosy cheeks. And she's great. I love her. Okay, you're always late. <laughs> My boss is here, don't say that. <laughs> you're always late, apparently. They say, like I said, it's grandma's mm, stuff. She said, but you are. <laughs> are you? Uh, Sometimes, yeah, I am. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Whoever your boss is, you've got to ignore it. Uh, both my grandmother and my grandfather came through tonight and they told me that they do not like my boyfriend. Um, this is something that I see and hear my grandmother saying because this is, this is what she's been telling me all along throughout my life, um, my grown up adult life, that she doesn't like my boyfriend. So um, when she said that, I knew it was her. I knew it was her coming through.